Choose the statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Number 1. A. The man is carrying a briefcase. B. The man has a serious problem. C. The man is holding a violin case. D. This is not a man. It is a statue. Number 2. A. The woman is looking for something in her handbag. B. The handbag is devouring the woman. C. The woman is eating a briefcase. D. This is just a statue. Number 3. A. The businessman has got a rock on his head. B. The man is carrying a briefcase. C. The man is eating a rock. D. This is a very humorous statue that you can see in Iceland. Number 4. A. The shark is carrying a briefcase. B. The shark has fallen from the sky. C. There is a car on top of the roof. D. In the picture, there is a bicycle leaning against a wall. Number 5. A. The man is wearing a bowler hat. B. The man is eating an apple. C. The man is wearing a red tie. D. This is a painting by Magritte called The Son of Man. Part 2. Questions and Responses Listen to the questions and choose the best answer. Number 1. That suit's a little large for him, don't you think? A. Yes, it's way too big. B. Yes, it was a great shoot. C. Yes, I think it suits him. Number 2. Did you go to the concert on Saturday? A. Yes, I wouldn't have missed it. It was so wild. B. Yes, it was a great shoot. C. I have all their songs on CD. Number 3. What a funny walk that is. A. Yes, money really does talk, doesn't it? B. No, he isn't walking. I think he's dancing. C. Yes, I can. I can dance very well. Number 4. Can you play the violin? A. A little bit. I practice in a shed in the backyard. B. Yes, I can. I can dance very well. C. My favorite sonata is Devil's Chill. Number 5. Do you have a favorite music video? A. I watch music videos every night. B. I prefer classical, especially Baroque. C. Yes, that Beyonce one. On the balcony. Cool. Let's go to that concert on Saturday. I hear the violinist is one of the most exciting in the world, and the reviews have been excellent. That sounds fantastic. I haven't been to a concert for ages. It must be at least 10 years. Do you think we need to book tickets in advance? Yes, it's probably wise. The demand might be quite high. Number 1. What have the reviews been like? Number 2. When did the woman last go to a concert? Number 3. Does the man think they should book their tickets in advance?
What an awesome painting! The colors are so vibrant and exciting. It's one of the breeziest and brightest things I've ever seen. I love it too. The combination of all the different shapes and forms, just looking at it makes me happy. And young too. Paintings like this bring out the child in you. They take you back to your childhood. Number four. What does the woman think of the painting? Number five. How does the painting make the man feel? Number six. Where does this conversation take place? Questions four through six refer to the following conversation. My daughter is a painter. She always loved painting, even as a little girl. When she was in primary school, she won an art competition in her class. She painted a picture of a dog and won second prize. When she came home, she was so excited that she painted our dog Bob. Since then, she has done hundreds of paintings. Her bedroom is more like an artist's studio, and her paintings are bought by cafes to put on their walls. She mostly does abstract stuff, but she paints anything really: landscapes, portraits, expressionist, Dada, whatever you can think of, she can paint it. Next time you go to a cafe, check out the paintings. One of them just might have been painted by my daughter. Number one. What did the woman's daughter paint in primary school? Number two. Where might you find some of her daughter's paintings? Number three. What kind of paintings does her daughter mainly do? I'm not from a particularly musical family. When I was younger, I never had the opportunity to do anything related to music. My youngest son, Ronnie, however, has just started learning how to play the bongo. He absolutely adores salsa, and he has mastered quite a range of elaborate techniques. My wife and I both want to foster his creative talents, and we believe it's important for children to develop their natural abilities from an early age. Unfortunately, we have a bit of a situation. He needs to practice every evening for two and a half hours. It's a problem for the rest of the family because he starts his practice at around 9 p.m. after he finishes his homework. We usually go to bed at 10, so this seriously affects our sleep. We have no idea what to do. Number four. Who is learning to play the bongo? Number five. What is true about the man? Number six. What time does Ronnie finish bongo practice? <laughs>